Welcome to the Gambia Conference Center. This is one of Gambia's newest edifices and it shows that Gambia is open for business as it relates to international conferencing. Welcome. Gambia will tentatively host the OIC summit in 2022, most likely in April. And this edifice you're seeing right here is going to be the home of the summit. This building is a state-of-the-art building. As you can see, there's precision in the work, there's finesse in the work, and high-quality materials have been used to make sure that this building conforms with high international standards. So, yes, the building is in Gambia, but this building could have been anywhere in the world. Craftsmanship and workmanship that has been put into this building is one of a kind and is of a state of the art. It is one of those rare state-of-the-art buildings in the country and within the sub-region, I would say. And then I think first impression is very important when you welcome guests. And uh, my best bet on it is that it will also create employment, which is very important because human resource development is what we are targeting here, stability and security. Gambia will use this edifice to reposition our tourism portfolio whereby Gambia can now have the opportunity to sell mice that's meeting international conferences and events to the world because we have what it takes now to host major international conferences. Walks are still on the way and they have at least completed 90% of the civil walks and finishing. That's the main road coming in. So once you come in here as a delegate, you're just dropped off. You come in and this is going to the main hall. This is a gallery. There's enough lighting in here. That's the high table over there. And where we're standing will be where the delegates and other heads of states will be. So I think the configuration will be one plus four delegates, meaning the head of state plus three extra. So this place can sit 60 heads of state and a delegation of four. Safety as it relates to this building is very paramount. There are a lot of exits and there's a lot of fire hydrants and enough water to make sure that should in case there is a problem here, a problem of fire for instance, it will be extinguished and taken care of in a quick and fashionable manner. The whole building is um, equipped with water hydrants should in case of a fire. So once this is closed, it's just another wall. All these red pipes are water. So what this means is the whole place is fortified should in case there is a fire. So this is a courtyard and once you're in here, it feels like you're outside, but you're still within the building. So smokers who are coming to the conference can converge here and just have their cigarette break and come back, thereby not obstructing others who really don't want to feel or smell the smoke. the back of the conference center but this is the point where the VIPs will access the building. 
Right there is the VIP parking adjacent to the Atlantic Ocean and these are the steps leading into the conference center. The general area we're standing here have been prepared for photo opportunities. Basically all the dignitaries coming to this place will converge here and have a general photo session. The beauty is on one side of it it's facing the building, on the other side it's facing the ocean and I think it's a beautiful place to really, really have a photo opportunity as it relates to the summit. This is a walkway leading to the beach. So the environment around here is still pristine. The environment around here is still green. And I think that's the concept Gambia wants to keep. And that's the concept that the promoters of this facility want. And the wave crest that we've been talking about as the main feature of the building can be seen from here. If you look at the Atlantic, when waves are coming, they're a bit curvy. If you look at the top of the building, equally, it mimics a wave crest because that's how the formation of waves comes in. This facility can host over a thousand people and equally everything that's needed for a modern conference to be hosted it's equipped in this place so this is not only for the oic summit but post oic there will be things happening here which will benefit our tourism sector which will benefit gambia and also create more jobs for other people working in other diverse sector be it drivers be it ushers be it you name it OIC comes with benefits and then this place is going to be managed by Gambians which is a big opportunity because we can also I mean use it for I mean attracting all the conferences to be held here because some neighbors within the sub-region have structures that they use for attracting international conferences so Gambia is going to be a tourist destination and a conference destination.